What if plastic waste could power your car? Well, in Kenya, one entrepreneur is turning plastic waste into fuel to power cars and all kinds of engines. Watch. Plastic waste is a growing menace across the world. The complex chemical structures that make plastic so tough and durable also make plastics difficult to break down. A company in Kenya is converting plastic into liquid fuel. ProGreen uh, Innovations is a refuse-derived fuel manufacturer. Uh, we turn waste materials into usable fuel. Uh, currently our focus is waste plastic. So waste plastic, we take, uh, we take it through a pyrolysis process and uh, we end up with usable fuel, which is alternative fuel for petrol and diesel engines. Pyrolysis involves heating the plastic at very high temperatures in the absence of oxygen, so combustion doesn't occur. Heating and liquefying, the plastic turns it back into an oil or hydrocarbon liquid. The process results in combustible gases and biochar. Some of the gases are condensed into a liquid called bio or pyrolysis oil. Other byproducts are captured and turned into biochar, which is used to fuel the furnace. We produce two kinds of uh, alternative fuel. The first fuel is alternative petrol. The alternative petrol is used um, for small to medium sized uh, machines. So you have power saws, which is a chainsaw. You have the water pump, lawn mowers as well. Uh, any small machine, that fuel will be usable. For the diesel, alternative diesel fuel, that's usable by heavy duty diesel engines, generators. Uh, it's used by vehicles as well. And my own vehicle, that's what I use. According to the United Nations Environment Program, global plastic waste production amounts to 400 million tons a year. It's estimated that only 12% of it is incinerated and 9% is recycled. To solve part of this issue, at least locally, Murito sources waste plastic from dump sites or buys it from resellers. Climate change experts say that it is a good way to deal with the problem of plastic waste by turning it into something useful. There is valid concern uh, about harmful gases that are released through pyrolysis process. But people need to know the difference between pyrolysis and incineration. Incineration is burning in presence of air. Pyrolysis is burning outside air in an enclosed system. So by itself already there is a limited amount of toxic gases that are released. But those toxic gases, even though they are released, there are now technologies that can help actually uh, harness those gases or actually purify them. Pro Green Innovations has the capacity to produce 1,000 litres of fuel every two to three days. Mirato says 80% of the plastic waste used turns into fuel. He isn't selling his fuel yet, as he has to secure approval from the Kenya Bureau of Standards. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.